The Negev is an arid region in southern Israel that covers 60% of the country. Average annual rainfall is less than 200 millimeters. Days are very hot and nights are very cold. Water is scarce as are shade and food sources. In these harsh climatic conditions, no one thought it possible to have green forests that turn back the desert and make the yellow open spaces green. Karen Kayemet Lee Israel is able to turn the impossible to a possible situation. Just look around us. Look at the trees that are growing on the hill slopes down in the gullies. This is what we are defining as a forest in desert areas. Israel President Shimon Peres described the miracle KKL JNF created in the desert at the ceremony where the beautiful Israel Award was presented to KKL JNF. I asked myself, why does Israel not move in the world? All the time, there are problems with the world. And the answer, according to me, is that Israel is alive, alive, and alive. בניגוד לחוקי הטבע, היא יוצרת לה טבע משלה. כשאנחנו מטיפת מים אחד עושים חמש טיפות. תגידו לי, זה לא בניגוד לטבע? So how are five drops of water created out of one drop in a desert? Join us for a walk among the Shechim, desert terraces, Lamons and desert forests created by KKLJNF throughout the Negev with the assistance of its friends worldwide. The soil type in the areas around Be'er Sheva are a very typical less soil, which rich in a very high amount of clay. And usually in summertime, it will look like powder. But as soon as above 10 millimeters of rain will go down, it will create a crust. Just look on those soil particles, how crusty they are. Very thin, but they are sealed to any kind of fil filtration into the soil itself. Just look what happens when the waters are coming down. Everything is flowing on the surface down to the gully. When the water are flowing on the slope, immediately most of them will create runoff. And then you can see how it accumulates in the structure that was built exactly like that. In addition to the special planting methods for Shechem, desert terraces, KKLJNF has constructed over 400 lamons all over the Negev, catchments that create a unique desert landscape. The lamons provide shaded recreation areas and attract many visitors. They paint the arid desert landscapes green and provide shade and pasture for herds that graze in the region. North of Beersheva, the capital city of the Negev, is the Yatir Forest, 30 square kilometers of planted forest. In 1964, KKL JNF foresters planted the first tree here, and against all odds, the Yatir Forest grew to become the largest forest in Israel. International studies undertaken at the Forest Research Station show that in spite of the arid climate, carbon sequestration in Yatia Forest is equal to that of rainforests. For our ailing planet, which is suffering from global warming and air pollution, trees are simply a miracle cure. Planting trees is the only active way to stop the greenhouse effect that causes global warming. In the course of its life, one tree absorbs 0.7 tonnes of the carbon dioxide that pollutes the atmosphere. One person has to plant about 200 trees in order to compensate for the pollution he will have produced in his lifetime. Since its establishment, KKLJNF has planted 240 million trees throughout the land of Israel. Trees provide shade, beautiful green landscapes and habitats for a diversity of wildlife. Since 1985, KKL JNF has been developing a green belt around Beersheva, the capital of the Negev. The 160,000 trees that will be planted in it will enlarge the green lung in the area and provide recreation areas for local residents. The trees will contribute toward ecological balance by preventing erosion and decreasing global warming. 
at the festive opening ceremony for KKLJNF Tu Bishvat events throughout Israel, participants planted trees in the Ramot Forest, which is part of the Beersheba Greenbelt. Within five years, the hilltop will look like this. And within 30 years, like this. A desert forest requires constant attention and maintenance, which is expensive. KKLJNF invests great resources in combating desertification and also shares its professional expertise with many countries that apply it in their own arid regions. Vision, creative thinking, technology, determination and friends all over the world have helped KKLJNF make the desert bloom.